Oh. Hello? Hello, apparently I've gone online. Can't see myself online, but apparently I'm online. Let me refresh the mixer. Aha! Look, I'm online! Woo! Hello! Right. So. Oh, it's been a while. Um. Yeah, I have been busy. But I'm here now, and we're going to start chapter 6 and find out what um, um, everyone's been up to. Uh, there we go. So this is book 3, chapter 6. The f first book was two chapters, the second book was three chapters, and ended with the little girl disappearing into the wall. So this one is probably going to be at least two, probably three chapters. Um, and I believe we left it with um, Kian, Alvane, and Enu having a conversation about a building. So, depending on where the save point was, we've either got to find whatever it was I was supposed to be finding, which I would check my objectives for, or we'll have to watch the cut sequence again. <laughs> oh no, there we are. Go to the rooster and kitten. So yeah, so we were up in that thing and something, something, something. Now we have to go to the rooster and kitten, which is um, four on the map, so I head straight and right from where I am. And I remember where the run button is, which is awesome because stupid run button. If it didn't exist, it'd be annoying. Okay, what did I say that sounded dirty, Jesse? <laughs> Rooster and kitten. Okay. Well, I mean, it's it's basically um, a cock and cat, you know. So yeah. Um, why is that related to Agatha Christie's ABC murders? Mind you, I do have one achievement left in that stupid game. Um. The cat named Achieve, I've forgotten about that. Um, yeah, I have one achievement left in that game that bloody well glitched, which was annoying. Um, so I'm going to have to go back to that at some point. But I have to replay the entire game, which is irritating. So I'm avoiding it for now. Yeah, the achievement name, yeah, the cat. Yeah, there are some weird ones, but... Um, yeah, okay, so... I think this is sometime after the raid. Oh, TA is an updated. <laughs> Interesting. You see that gentleman sitting over there? Don't look, you simpletons. Balance. You lot don't know much about subterfuge, do you? <laughs> that man's an Azadi mechanic. He drinks here most nights, but. I didn't know that part until I overheard him speaking to his friend earlier about the pipes. Seems pipes. that with the pipe network up and running, there's a lot of tinkering to be done. Our man over there carries a tool to open maintenance hatches. Ah. And if we get inside a hatch... We can maybe figure out what they're using the pipes for. That's brilliant, Ulvik. So we slit his throat and dump him in the bay? No! Not in my bar, you won't. If they find out we've taken his tools... The information could turn out to be useless. I like Kian no. with a bed. Suits we him better. Borrow his tools, open one of those pipes to have a look see, and put the tools back before he notices. And that was probably what you were going to say when I interrupted you. Yeah, but it's nice hmm. to be on the same page. Sorry. If you can do it without him noticing, I won't stop you. But if the Azadi ever suspect that I'm collaborating with the Resistance, that will not happen, Ulvik. So I what like do we do, Kian? The others look to me for leadership now. It's important that I take charge and make the decisions. Alvik brought this to our attention. It's only fair that I include him in the decision. What do you think, Alvik? Me? Well, I think you three are resourceful in 
different ways. Instead of bickering about what to do, which is what usually happens, why not split up? Mm. There's every chance that one of you will come up with something that doesn't involve murder, the total destruction of my pub, or blowing my cover. I agree. We can't take too long. That man won't stay here forever. He's on his second drink. He usually doesn't leave until he's had at least three. And I can offer a few on the house to make him stay longer. It's decided then. We'll meet again here later this evening. Winner buys a round for everyone. No? No? It's not very motivating? Okay. Loser buys a round for everyone, surely. Okay, find some way to incapacitate the pipe maintenance worker. Then... Um... It does not sound very much fun where you are. Which is a shame, because... I really like the snow, when I don't have to do anything, and when it doesn't disrupt anybody. Alvik is a good man. I enjoy his company. Have you found He's any true to his word? I'm working on it. Enu and Nico are still out looking, and you're not. You should get to it. Alvik doesn't have the most sophisticated or upscale clientele. At least they're not a raucous or unruly lot. He's a mechanic, working on the pipe network. And he has a workbox with tools. They appear to be having a good time. Well deserved, too. They're good people. Bless their generous hearts. Traditional reap moon snacks. Roasted apples, salted yams, sweet roots, pungent fermented snapjaw eggs. Ew. Ew. I won't say no to a tasty bit of yam. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's him, not me, by the way. Oh. Mm -hmm. Delicious. So apparently, we just s eat the snacks instead of taking them, which would have been more useful. Ulvik's provided Bip with a cot down there. Among the wine caskets and beer barrels. I believe the boys acquired a taste for strong drink. Aw, oh, Bip has a home now. I do miss old town. Now curious just the same without the magic ghetto. Ah, uh, well take a look around. I am what I am. <laughs> to see if we can come up with the really obvious solution that I'll miss for many, many minutes. Also, hi Elkesh. How is everybody? Before our arrival, the street lamps were lit with magic spells. They've been replaced with modern electricity. Hmm. <sighs> so yes, I've been a bit busy. Mainly just getting used to um Honor Hilaris has posted these bills everywhere. He's serious about his run for office. Under his leadership. The city watch will fester and rot. Um, I've just been getting back into the working uh, thing. Oh, why are we? The ghetto's been burned to the ground. Oh no! Whatever's left in there, it's ruins. That's bad. Um, yeah. So I've been getting back into the working routine, which is going really well. And um, I've been to the cinema a few times, which has been cool. Um. I saw Tomb Raider, the new Tomb Raider. It's it's a rather awesome movie. I mean, it's also got parts of it set in London, so it's even more awesome. You can't see my flat, but you know. 
still not bad. Um, and uh, I saw game night last the night, which is pretty cool. Harvest festival tradition. It was uh, different ish, not I expected it to be more scary for some reason. It was not scary, it was funny. Um, who's there? D &D game, oh, game, game night, no, the film Game Night. <laughs> Sorry, should have been more specific there. It's surprisingly quiet out. Usually these tables are busy until late at night. Granted, it is chilly and damp. Don't go to see Red Sparrow inside. tomorrow. Carousy. It'd be easier to walk around unnoticed if there were more people about. But I um, do get to operate in peace. Yes, I do a lot of gaming. Um, <laughs> I haven't actually done any gaming really this week. I haven't really felt in the mood for it. Um, it's kind of tired after Glasgow, and then, yeah, a couple of cinema trips, and, uh, I, um... A crate full of angled pipe sections. Elbows, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so I just sort of, yeah. That is a, yeah. Well, it's not so much the lack of sunlight, it's just I was like, I, like, feel like I've over-gamed, almost, um, getting... This pipe has a hinged panel in it, but I'll need a tool to open it. Pipe thing goes. I feel like I've sort of overdone it doing like um, the. Uh, I envy those who can shut their doors at night and find peace inside. But that's why we fight, so that they can I'm shut their doors. I'm doing that TA day. challenge and uh, sort of uh, stacks of hay to represent the harvest festival, the reaping. I can't steal the dog. That is a weird monster. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd take advantage of feeling like I had the energy to go to the cinema, to go to the cinema. Whoa, creepy. They're building bonfires for Reap Moon's Eve next week. That looks like the mole lady. Um, plus because my parents are going to be, um, Barrel bobbing. here. There's a tradition we also have in Azadir. A single bob won't hurt. I'm sure no one's watching. Are you actually going to bob for apples, dude? Ah, this brings me back. Although without okay. the metal, no, something is definitely lost. Um, yams? Apparently he but likes no. yams. Only apples. Um, my parents are here from Sunday to help decorate, or at least freshen up the decoration on the flat. Um, so there will be less opportunity to do stuff. So I'm taking advantage of that and doing stuff. Also means there probably won't be stream. It's locked. I could probably force it open. But on I have no Tuesday. But I might do one on Thursday. But I'll be at my parents for Easter. We'll have to see. Um how it goes. But I'll be back after Easter as normal on a regular schedule. So I haven't got quite so many plans. Um so yeah, I've also got several films that are like just out that I want to see, but I figure I've got time to see those. Um, where are all the people? There's official Azadi business going on here. <coughs> you Excuse want to turn around and walk away. Okay. I feel like I'm missing something obvious. A pumpkin. An odd vegetable. Native to the Northlands. In a world with yams, who needs apples? <laughs> Dude likes his yams. I think we're restricted to here. Since the raid on Old Town, they've sectioned off more of the city at night. You can pass, but you need to answer questions. Hey! Hello! Hello. Goes there. Hello. Must have been the wind. Hmm. So anyway. As I said, how is everybody? It's surprisingly quiet out. Usually these tables are busy until late at night. Granted, it is chilly and damp. Apparently, the reaping's the right time for pumpkins, and they're an important part of the celebrations. Goddess knows why. They're hideous things. That's probably a maintenance hatch. 
but it's locked. Hmm. Ah. Goat eats leaves. Goat falls asleep. Interesting. Wait. I remember someone talking about this a while back. The mole, was it? What exactly are you doing to that goat? Nothing. Should I be jealous? <laughs> jealous? Of whom? I don't understand what you're saying to me. Where have you been this past month? Let's away. Month. Far away. Travelling, so... Uh... Oh, so yeah, so what games are you, are you deciding on? Games to buy, or it's rebel business. games to play, or both? How's that working out for you? Are you one of them now? I'm atoning for my sins. Right, but you are enjoying it. I don't enjoy fighting my own people. Well, you seem to be good at it. Word is the resistance is gaining support, that people have hope now that you're there. I'm doing what I can to help. Which games? I heard you went soft on our vile little Azadi officer. If I'd known, I would have taken care of him myself. Not killing him makes some sense, a source in the tower and all, but for going torture, that's just a missed opportunity. The thing about torture is that it's a seal of authenticity. It makes every piece of information more reliable. I understand you. Well, even if you didn't pull out of Old Town. At least the resistance put up a decent fight before. The important thing is, many Azadi died that night. Chalice half full and all that. What do you want? Nothing. Nothing. I saw you. It's been a while. I wanted to say hello. Ah, oh, I've missed this. The one-sided conversations. The sullenness and suspicion. Which games? I've come to enjoy it quite a bit. Anyway. Or which eight? <laughs> we have a lead on the pipes. Oh, that explains everything. I'll leave you to it then. I'm going to the rooster later tonight. I need to speak with Olvik. Maybe I've I'll got see games that. in my Amazon Maybe. cart. This is what I love about you, Keon. You're <sighs> such a people person. It didn't appeal to me. But mainly I think it was just, oh, it's yet another game with dudes in. <laughs> no offense. It was like, ooh, even song. There we are. Um, and I just, I just wasn't interested, really. Even song, a herb that makes the wakeful sleep. Ah, uh, cool. Right. So now we're going back to the. Oh crap! I need my map. Uh, straight on and right. Okay. Excuse me. Um, yeah, I've got some games in mind, but I'm waiting for them to be more of a affordable level this and because I'm like well, I'm not gonna play them right now so I should wait but I just want to buy them and it's like oh god stop doing that finish some of the games you've got Joe <laughs> it's not like they're on sale <sighs> I don't know I don't even know if UHO is gonna have them this year Apologies if you heard slurping, that's my tea. This is Evensong. It works on goats. Well, then oh. it should work on the Azadi too, eh? Sorry. Um, I was um, drinking tea, so... I was... Probably whapping the mic. Is it okay now? I shall endeavour not to whap the mic. However, I think I downed my, the house, da? downed my tea before this, but too quickly, because I'm going ah, to need to take a break in a couple of minutes lovely. to the bathroom. But on the other hand, I did edit 20 minutes of the podcast, so... Malty, sweet. It's almost like the sugar ale from Southern as a day. Now, this is a brew, Vic. Tastes like home, this does. It brings tears to my eyes. It's simply spect. He's dead to the Oops. world. Knocked out by Evensong. Um, yeah, I kind of think there probably is another UHH gonna be, but. I mean, that's about Well, I've already found two points. Um. Don't take too long out there. 
If he wakes up without his tools, there'll be questions. <sighs> Whether or not I um, take it seriously, I don't know. But I mean, there'll always be games. I always, I have games. I don't need more games. I just wanted to buy these games, <laughs> but it's like there's not any point unless they're on sale. Yes, more games indeed. Okay, right. When this loads up, I'm going to pause and I will be back in <laughs> more coins, more stars, more collectibles. I want the shiny. Um, I should be back in a minute. Right, I'm here. Archiducks. So, um, map should now have maintenance pipe thing. No, okay, I might need to look at the map. Examine. It's a map of the pipe network, with maintenance hatches marked in red. Okay, now is it on the map? Seriously? <laughs> right. Well, there was one round here. I like it when they mark things on the map that I've found. It won't budge. It needs a special yeah, tool. I have a special tool. <laughs> There's a powerful wind blowing from right to left, and it carries something with it. Too quick to see, too fast to grab. Okay. Using this, I should be able to find one of the panels. There's one up behind this thing as well. There's air flowing from right to left, like a tempest in a tube. Looks empty. There's a strong current of air flowing through it. Okay. Are there any more? I think there's just those two. A tool for opening the maintenance hatches in the pipes. Okay. Huh. So yeah, so aside from a way out, what else you got, Jesse? I like talking about games. I'll lose my fingers if I try and grab it. It's solid, and it's swift. There's a powerful wind blowing from right to left, and it carries something with it. Too quick to see, too fast to grab. Okay, so I need grab something grabby. Far Cry 5. I saw a trailer for that. It looks overly realistic. <laughs> Crash Trilogy? Crash Bandicoot? A pumpkin. An odd vegetable. Surviving Mars? We have nothing like it in Azadir. More pumpkins. A single bob won't hurt. 
I'm sure no one's watching. Um, burn up paradise. Yes. Oh, those weird things again. When you say cart, is this a physical cart? <laughs> Online cart. Fair enough. I didn't actually think you were like literally standing there with a shopping cart. That would be silly. Um, I meant more of a you going digital or physical, but... Um, <laughs> Uh, no, not not really. Did anyone spot anything that I could potentially use? Aha! Pipe section. That's what I can use. I'm going to see what is in this tube. Um... I think I don't really either. That didn't accomplish anything. Okay. Whatever's in there just bounces off the pipe. Okay, so I need something to go with the pipe. Oh, God, this is going to be like D and D session where it's like we need to try and um, ah, try and uh, get the owl out of the tree or whatever it was, and it was just like trying everything <laughs> with everything. <laughs> So we did at least finish that campaign, that was good. Aha! Uh -huh. It's a magic eight ball! I'm not throwing a pony at a tree. Where did the orb come from? I should investigate where this pipe leads, hopefully to some answers. Follow the pipe. Should I close the hatch? I'll lose my fingers if I try and grab it. It's solid and it's swift. Okay, right. So, pipe here. Along there. Along there. Pipe, 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 pipe. Pipe. This doesn't seem like a very sensible thing to put the pipe up there. Oh, right. I need to find a way into that building tonight. 20% off and free shipping. Is this Amazon or Best Buy or some kind of club thing? Um... There's official Azadi business going on here. You'll want to turn around and walk Best away. Best Buy Games Club. Fair enough. <laughs> Were you here when we had that horrible mess the other day? I don't think so. Well, one of them, uh, what are they call them ground crawlers. Rats. That's it, rats. One of them rats got into the pipes. Whoop! Got sucked right into the engine. Whoa. That doesn't sound good. That sounds Why? messy. What a bloody mess. Literally. Guts, bones, hair, blood everywhere had to shut things down. And it was us who had to clean it. Engineers wouldn't touch it, said their hands are too valuable. I guess ours aren't. It's a soldier's lot, isn't it? We do the grunt work. That's how it goes. Well, I guess they think cleaning out rat guts is more important than us keeping watch and protecting them engineers in there. Eh, guess so.
Go on now, nothing to see here. That's not bad value. Martial law permits me to use my sword against you. I'm just trying to get around just so the you know. thing. Okay. Honor Hilaris has posted these bills everywhere. He's serious about his run for office. They've put up ornaments all over town for the festival of reaping. Harvest season is important in the Northlands. I would just be able to go in there. Who's there? Since the raid on Old Town, they've sectioned off more of the city at night. You can pass, but you need to answer questions. Okay. <sighs> These orbs rattle through the pipes like bullets through barrels. It's an odd design. Well, I now I have two pieces of pipe and a metal ball. <laughs> I kind of thought I should probably get the tools back. Go back to the pub and see. Um, Again, Azadi. Prepare your blade for battle. Goddess, it's late, boy. You should be in bed. So should you. What are you doing now? Chasing rats. I'm too busy to be talking to the boy, and he really shouldn't be out. The streets aren't safe for magicals. The boy appears genuinely interested. Yes, that's exactly what I'm doing. Are you that hungry? Rats taste like sewage. Trust me. You're better off eating table scraps. Uh, I'm not eating the rat. I need it for... It's work-related. It is. Okay. Well, don't let me keep you from your rats. Are you just going to sit there? It's not every night I get a chance to watch you catch a rat. Fair point. Um, I like that. I'm just finishing my... Up. I will be thirty seconds. Right, there we go. Yes, he's still alive. Don't be cruel. It's a leftover cheese and meats plate. I've dined here. The food's good. I would never have left any bits uneaten. Ah, yams. A few weeks ah, ago, I got I some yams. yams. I also, enough. I'm a budding yam aficionado. Can I just get two bits of cheese or just the one? Okay, cheesy bits. Okay.
Yeah, that's not gonna work. Ah, they're too quick. <laughs> You're not very good at catching rats, are you? He better bloody well stay. Um, they alive. won't come close as long as I'm standing here. Oh, so close! Well, mm, not really. Hmm. I wonder if I can combine, like, the, um... I just put the pipe on the floor. Ah. Okay. This is more fun than the Zadi guards. Nearly got it, right. Yes! I really ha ha! I'm impressed. I well, got a rat. What's next? Yeah. Next, you go home and stop distracting me, or I'll tell the other street urchins you have fleas. Oi! I have no home. You know that. I sleep in the cellar of the rooster and kitten. Good. It's the safest place around. So go back to your cellar and keep your head down. If I see you again tonight. Please, got it. I'm sleepy anyways. That's why I'm going back. Not Aww. because you're telling me to. And don't throw pebbles at Azadi soldiers. I'm not gonna eat the rat! Ew! I'm gonna pick up some more cheese. Because why not? So hopefully the rat won't eat the cheese in my thing. I'm gonna go put the cheese in the uh, I'm gonna put the cheese now I'm gonna put the rat in this pipe thing and then that'll distract the guards and then yeah that's why we have two pipes Is that, the bib said it tasted like sewers was that sound? It was a squishy sound, sort of like... You've got to be kidding me. Not again. Shut up, damn ground crawlers. Boin? I guess it's on us to clean up the mess. Do it. So yeah, it's on us. It's Oin. I own? Right. Well, let's get to it. No time like the present. Oh, as in flipped. Yeah, those ones are quite empty. cool. There's a strong current um, of air because it's like, oh, this is really easy to tell what this is. S is also quite a good one. Uh -huh. Right. Magic quest is fun. Is that the one I finished? Spellspire, that's the one that has the 40 million dungeon levels. Should be fair. Almost finished. -ish. <gasps> that's computer screens! That's a computer! With symbols! Computer and symbols. Interesting. Barry Allen and the Speed Force language. Okay. I haven't really. More of the metal machines that have been put up all over town. But these look different. Bigger, shinier, more modern. 
The numbers are flickering. It looks like sorcery. But I'm sure this is science. He's one of the people who work I'm not here. caught up with the flashes. I've noticed others like him entering and exiting. Eh, odd looking. I haven't actually caught up since the med season break. More metal tubes leading down to these odd tables. I don't know what these are, but they put me in mind of a lady's vanity. Except with knobs. Lots and lots of knobs. <laughs> More of those odd <laughs> They're doing something <laughs> to them here, altering them. The orbs appear to be an important part of the machinery. I wonder what will happen when I push one. Oh, that's on it. I wonder what will happen when I push one of these knobs. Oh, that's ominous. I wonder what will happen when I push one of these knobs. Oh, that's ominous. Probably don't push one of the knobs. So probably shouldn't talk out loud. There's mathematics on that board. Oh, oh! Um, you're not supposed to be here. This place is for engineers only. Please leave or I'll be forced to call the guards. I have a very loud voice when I'm scared. One sound and you'll be standing on the slopes of the first mountain, yelling at clouds. Goddess. Um, no problem. I'll be quiet as a... Uh, yes. You're from as a deer. I've seen your profile in embroideries. I never forget a nose. You're the Apostle. Apostle Elvani. You're famous. Maybe once. Now I'm just Kian. Your turn. My, my turn what? Your name. Who are you? Ferdows. I'm Ferdows. Lead engineer. I don't know what that means. What do you do? Don't you know? I, I thought you would have known. You know, from back when you were... I'm in charge of the team that encodes the spheres that make the engine tick. What hmm. engine? The engine that... <laughs> you know, the engine. There's only one engine. The one that encompasses the entire city. Whoa. It's, it's what all the pipes are connected to. Didn't they tell you anything when you were... Y you know, before you were a traitor? Assume that I know nothing. What is this engine for? <laughs> the engine calculates. That's why they call it the calculating engine. They should call it the computer. Big numbers. Complex equations. I, we, my team, we give the engine instructions about how and what to calculate. This is called coding. I, I understood none of that. I did. You can't be here. You're a fugitive and, and, um, this is a restricted zone. Knock That's like out. two things that mean you shouldn't be here, and I could probably think of more if you need me to. I have a sword, and I'm bigger than you. And an awesome bird. Those are two things that count in your favor, granted. So what does this calculating engine do? What's its purpose? I'm, I'm really not supposed to. Right. Bigger and sword. It looks like a unicorn. <laughs> As I said, it calculates. I mean, it does more than that, but that's what it was built to do. It's core functionality. It adds, subtracts, multiplies numbers. Oh. Big numbers. And it does things with those numbers. Like, um, like, have you ever watched the stars in the sky at night? I'm not just a man with a sword. Of course. And you've seen how those stars move across the sky. Using a calculating engine, we can actually track those stars and predict where they're going to be in a year from now, or a century, or where Still they were for a century ago. Why are you tracking stars? Um, well, I obviously we're not. missed. Something. I mean, it's it's just an example. We're not actually tracking stars. I mean, sure, we could if we wanted to, but we're tracking dreams. <gasps> dreams. 
Dreams are very complex, which is why we need a big engine with lots of ticking parts to make complex calculations and predictions. Right. So, the part about not just being a man with a sword? Assume that's all I am and start over. Yes, fine. Um, those pipes crisscrossing the city, they're sort of like, um, like speaking tubes, connecting a hundred sage masters, each with his or her own field of specialty. So, it's like a university? Well, I guess. Yes. Yes, this is a good comparison. A whole city filled with clever brains. The spheres pass messages between the different masters and between them and us. We write messages and we interpret messages. We tell the individual brains what to think about and then they do the thinking and report back to us. This and lips aren't moving, it's weird. ever more complex messages until finally we have the code we need. The ultimate message. Well, it's 42. We send to the tower. Why? Because... Because that's where the biggest brain of them all is located. This is the hub of the Pike Network. The engine's core, its heart, the nucleus of the meta... Well... Metaverse? You understand. The fact is, this is the most advanced and scientific task anyone's ever taken on. And we're doing it. You should be proud. Why are you doing it? Oh, oh this house is bitch. Yes, gotcha. I... I don't quite know. Because we can? Because no one else can? Because the Prophet told us to, and gave us the tools to do it. So, you don't know what it's for? I write the instructions. I'm the, um... I'm the man in the middle. Someone tells me what they need, and I tell the engine how to compute the answer. This is my job. Who knows what the engine is for? The Six, probably. The Prophet, certainly. Emissary Saya, I would imagine. <laughs> this is above my pay grade. Above your... I was hired to write instructions for the engine and compute the spheres. Not to ask questions. And, and not to answer yours either, Mir. You really should go before someone comes. We'll both be in terrible trouble. They usually check on me all the time. And I wonder why they haven't. I still don't understand. Why build all of this here in Mercuria? Something Why to not do with the magic Sadia? people. Because of the tower and what's below it. Vast eddies of, um, meta energies. Meta. Do you mean magic? 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 Of course not magic. This engine is, is, is the opposite of magic. It's the culmination of I everything punch his stupid Asgir face. has strived for these last hundred years. An end to chaos and uncertainty. An end to superstition and irrationality. An end to magic. When the engine's fully operative and the programming complete, we won't need sorcerers or witchcraft anymore. We'll be able to do anything we want with science. Reshape reality. Rewrite the laws of the cosmos. Remove death and disease, poverty, <laughs> and warfare. The I world will be run by scientists for the betterment of humanity. What do dreams have to do with it? The engine feeds on the... on, on the building blocks of reality. Uh, ideas. Stories. Dreams. Magic is highly exactly. detrimental to the system. See, Possibly sorcery causes chaos, injects uncertainties and, and, and fallacies into our calculations. So, is that why magicals are... Are being relocated? We can't have them around while the engine's calculating. But as soon as we're done... We you can... believe they're being relocated? Oh, yes. Yeah, yes, of course. I mean, it's what they told us. Why would they lie? It, they're it's not simple. exactly going to tell you. The engine isn't compatible with magic. And we don't want anyone getting hurt. There's no room for people. sorcery in Mercuria. The magicals are better off in their new homelands. They're being sent to prison camps. Re-education camps. Uh, this is true, yes, but only temporarily. Th this is their first stop. Afterwards, they're given passage to their new homelands, where they can... Do you really believe that? What would the Magicals be re-educated to do? Forget that they're Magicals? Mm. No, Fadaus. That's not the truth. 
They're imprisoned. Killed. They're not given a new home. But they told us. They said they were... Yeah. They, they promised they'd be safe. And happy. And... Oh, light protects them. So this is why we're sending all the magicals away from Mercuria. Because of the engine. This is like that thing. I, the, the meme that goes yes. around. So we're the yes. bad guys? That's why. I didn't know. I didn't know. There are children. There are. You know now. They lied to what us. What are you going to do about it? Do you need to remove all magicals before starting up this calculating engine? It's already running. I'm... I'm not... As long as the thermaturgical interference is below the acceptable threshold for... Pretend that I'm a very small and possibly very stupid child. Oh. Uh, no. No, they don't, they don't need to get rid of all of the magicals. Just enough not to disrupt our calculations. We'll be done instructing the network in a couple of days. After that, they can pull the lever whenever they want. That's the last component of the engine. The tower. The one that will start feeding on and molding the dreams. Changing the world for the... For the better. Yeah. Mm. I, um... I believe the official ceremony is a few days from now. The emissary will be there, together with the first, and the prophet, and... and... And please don't kill me. I'm not going to kill you. But what you're doing here is not the will of the goddess, Fadaus. Something is going on. Someone's... Someone's Mia. coming. I had a feeling it was you. Mia? Goddess, what are you doing here, honey? Where are your men? Right outside. They can be here in seconds. You, engineer, what's your name? I threatened him. He played no part in this. Ferdows. I'm Ferdows. You lied. I beg your pardon? You promised they'd be safe. Mm. I have no idea what you're talking about. Go, Ferdows. This is not about you. Just remember what I told you. You're not doing the work of the goddess here. <clears throat> Old Town was a distraction. Bamon meant it to be a struggle, for my men to die. He wanted to take my mind off the investigation. Commander Bamon and the Emissary have been lying to me about your death. Why is that? Because I'm a danger to them. And it's not the only thing they've lied to you about. This engine... You betrayed us. You joined the enemy. To stop Sire and Vamon, not to fight our people. Not to fight you. Sister Sire is the emissary. Commander Vamon is your superior officer. They are your people. They are traitors, Mir. They have betrayed our nation, mm. our faith, and... You should have come to me first, Apostle. You should have come to me. Instead, you've shamed me. You've shamed Mother Utana, the Six, the Goddess, your nation. When I received word someone had been spotted entering this house, I had a feeling it was you. I entered alone for two reasons. One, as a list. courtesy to the mother. It would break her heart again to hear that you perished in dishonor, fighting my guard. And two, your living proof that Vamon has lied to me. I cannot reveal my hand to Vamon, but I also cannot let you go. You'll surrender to me now. Without struggle, and you'll be brought to Sadir tonight in secret. I don't want to do that. will decide your fate. For the time being, while I sort out this mess, you'll be locked away under a false name. No one will know you're alive. When I'm ready to confront the commander and the emissary, reveal the truth about your survival, and you will cooperate every step of the way. Ask Sire and Vermont about the camps, and what they're doing to... You lied. You lied to us. You told us they would not be harmed. You told us they'd be safe. There were children. Get off me, you idiot. Go. Go, Keon. Make them pay for this. Ah, oh, the nerd Get is fighting. Me. I'll have you beheaded for this. <laughs> Shadow, damn you, man. Leave this place now. Yeah, dude. <laughs> That's Bip! No, Bip!
please tell me Kion got you? No! Why do you want Bip to be dead, Olkesh? That's just mean! Meany, meany, mean. Mean. Yes? Mother. Hey, Paul. It's the general. He asks to speak with you. Send Jesse, him in, you're child. mean too? Army. Is anything the matter? It's Kian. He's alive. Oh. Goddess. Goddess, be praised. How do you oh. know this? He broke into the that engine room down on City Green. Yeah. Light. What was he doing there? Speaking with one of the engineers, Fadaos, a young man from the southern provinces. Kian <laughs> said... Oh, he's joined the resistance. But... It is as I suspected. We have been lied to by Vamon and the Emissary. For what reason? That I don't know. Yet. And until we do, we cannot confront the mother. I agree. We don't know how firm their grip is on the tower. If they know that we know... What about Kian? Was he here? Uh... How did he look to you? He looked strong. Different, but strong. He must have his reasons for doing what he's doing, Hami. Kian would never betray Azadir or his faith. Perhaps, but that's what he's doing. I mm. gave him the honorable choice to turn himself in and face righteous judgment. But he fled like a coward when the engineer oh, attacked. Oh, we road tripping. Attacked? I don't blame the man. Kian poisoned his mind with baseless lies. My men detained him, and I placed him somewhere safe, somewhere he can't tell anyone what he saw and heard. Out of Vamon's reach. We need to keep this between us, or we run the risk of alerting the commander and emissary <sighs> site. Stupid cold. Much as I'd like to hunt down Kian myself and my put nose. him to the sword, we must be patient. Let's trust the goddess, Hami, to illuminate our path and bring us to the truth. Yes, do you listen to the truth? You're still a TA for the next month. Oh, as in you didn't get a ticket for EGX. Ah. So you still have to work. Damn. John, thank the balance you're back. Bip's been... They've taken him. Taken. Yeah. Oh, shit. Light. Are you sure it's Bip? I knew this would happen. We have no time to spare. We must get to him before... The cloud ship just unmoored and is already heading for Guillen. It's too late. <laughs> Oh, abandon your mission here for one child's life. Is it because he's a magical that he's not worth the trouble? You're such an angry, angry man. Do you really want Kian to leave Mercuria and risk his life to save one boy? Yes. I thought so. This is what happens when we let Azadi criminals live. Ugh, stop it. That's not what happened and you know it. They're sending all the magicals away. I know why. And I know what the pipes are for. What? Really? Are you serious? I'll explain later. Right now, we need to rescue the boy. Oh. Well, you're not going after him. That's not your decision to make, Anna. Can we really afford to lose more people? I mean, we've lost so many, and... And the Arne's still in custody. She should be dead. D does your language even have a word for forgiveness? Not that I'm aware of. <laughs> I need to think about this. I can't just abandon the boy, but we can't stay well, here. Surely you could have taken some holidays. The Azadi are hunting me. The general knows I'm alive. Honey, how did that happen? Did you approach him? Are you trying to curry favors with your former masters? Curry favors? How would I even? I'm not trying to curry any favors with. Stop it, both of you! You're really annoying and loud. Ha! <laughs> Let's get out of here before Ulvik gets in trouble for harboring a fugitive. Shepard will want to have a say in the discussion. This isn't over, Kian. Oh, hush. Mm. 
So do we talk to Shepard or are we going to switch to um Sorry. I think they're terrible with names. Following the terrorist attack on Propast, oh, yeah. eight I officers and five civilians were killed by Marxist party members. Ah. The syndicate has promised to maintain heightened security across Europolis until after the upcoming election. Oh yeah, there was a bomb. The Propast district remains under full eye lockdown and 24-hour curfew. We're now joined by Marek Farah in Propast. And Marek, how are regular people in Propast handling this very difficult situation? Well, Rika, as you can see, the streets here are deserted, almost two months after the August attack on the I headquarters in Propast. There's security everywhere, and everyone who goes outside is subject to random searches and arrests. There is a 24-hour curfew in effect, but people are allowed to traverse the district as long as they carry the appropriate paperwork and submit to any searches and questions. Oh, look what at that jumper! What like food and water, Marek? Are any stores or restaurants still open? I think this is Everything done. Is closed, mm, smells good. But rations are distributed to residents of Propast on a regular basis, and medical personnel are on constant standby. No one here is in any immediate danger of starvation. Has there been any indication of how long this lockdown will continue? The syndicate is not saying, Rika, but spokespeople have hinted that Propast will remain under syndicate guardianship until after the election in... We appear to have lost our connection to Marek Farah in Propast. We will attempt to re-establish the connection. In the meantime, when we come back, we talk to someone very close to Marxist leader and terrorist mastermind, Marta Rebus, about her... Oh, bleep bloop. Expert! Shit. Power's out. Again. I made the best I'm scrambled sure the eggs in the history us. of mankind. I'll have to check the emergency fuel cell in the kitchen cabinet. It should have kicked in by now. Rare achievement. Journal. Right. Okay. Okay. September 28th. This year just keeps on giving. I'm going to call this the giving year. We began with a coma. The second act climaxed with my friend turning suicide bomber and me back in a hospital. Hello, fancy skin grafts. Goodbye, awesome ponytail. I just cannot wait to see what the third act of 2220 brings. Great wealth, awesome sex, and many, many fruity drinks, I imagine. Yes, it's been a long summer, and now I'm stuck in my apartment with restricted wire access, shitty food rations, and no way out of Propast. Not only that, but I'm out of a job. Mira let me go via a recorded message. Classy. <laughs> but I'm not upset. Propass under total lockdown, so there's no business. She couldn't afford to keep me on. She still could have told me in person, though, but meh. I'm actually surprised I haven't succumbed to a deep and abiding depression yet. Maybe they've put something in these food rations. If so, thanks you, our magnificent corporate overlords. Speaking of my mental health, I haven't been able to get in touch with Roman. They told me he stopped by the hospital to check up on me, but I was still covered in grafts and probably looked like shit. I guess he's left propast. Must be the hair. That hair works magic on everybody. <coughs> Relations... Roman. Which one was Roman? Oh, the... <coughs> The doctor, yes, of course. Sorry. Relationship update. Reza and I are broken up for good. It's over. Finito. Haven't spoken to him in weeks. And if I ever look back on this thinking, maybe we should get back together, then stop that, Zoe. And move on. Third time's not the charm. Time to focus on making yourself happy. And also maybe saving the world? One of the two. So, what else? 
I'm forcing myself to record all of this now, because if I don't, and someone finds my decomposing corpse in this depressing apartment, most likely cause of death, choking on a half-baked rationed synth chocolate cookie, they will never know the true me. Note to whoever finds my body, delete this journal, stat. Anyway, joking aside, did I make the right decision giving the data to Sully? I mean, it amounted to nothing. Ah, Baruti left Europolis, I lost a good friend, Reza fled to Iceland with the data, and the Hand hasn't been able to publish it yet. Sully's gone to God knows where, trying to pick up the pieces after the Syndicate shut him down. It's a big mess, and I feel responsible. Should I have given the data to Baruti instead? If I had, maybe the story would be out there by now. But we'll never know. What's done is done. There are no second chances. Aha, but there are, because it's a video game, so I can go back and see what happens. So, dear reader, and finder of my decomposing body, it's been a shitty few months. I eat terrible food, I watch way too much reality, uh, watch way too many reality shows, I sleep like 15 hours a day, and I have no interaction with anyone. I might as well be dead. On the positive side, I'm getting a lot of reading done. Hmm. Okay, right. Um, cabinet. Fuel cell. I can jiggle it a bit. That sometimes works. Nope, that did not work. I guess I need a new one. And I know just the person. Pandemonium. Okay. Exit to prayer past. Okay, well, I want to have a quick poke around the apartment first. She does have cool hair. I like it. I like her sweatshirty thing with the purple monkey. Zorimaya Castillo, your district is subject to syndicate mandated martial law. Please submit an approved destination or return to your home. <sighs> Thank you. The pandemonium is your only approved destination. I will accompany you. Please mm. don't talk. Okay. First sign you're living in a military state, an armed drone is escorting you over. Escorts um, you everywhere you go. We are authorized to use deadly force against any perceived threat. If I perceive you to be a threat, I shoot you. Simple as that. Hmm. Stay close to your escort and don't deviate from your path. We're not fucking. Everything is closed. No customers, no permits. It's depressing. Very depressing. I haven't seen Queenie around since I located Hannah for her. Depressing in here as well. Blueprints of bots and what looks like neural interfaces. I'm going to miss Wit. I don't know why exactly, since we've never had a conversation, but 
I'll still miss the big guy. If I try that, I believe Mira might actually stab me with a screwdriver in the face. Where is she? Ah, she's there. Look what the bot dragged in. Maybe it's something I ate, but I actually feel relieved to see you, Petal. Are you all right? Oh, really similar not. haircut. You? You know, Wit is not exactly vivacious company. It's been quiet around here since we closed shop. I apologize for firing you with a pre-recorded message, by the way. Company policy. Oh, don't worry about it. You said you closed shop? There's no business. We don't even have wire access. It's like being on a really shitty desert island without sun, sand or coconuts. Or wire access. <laughs> We're actually thinking about heading back to Mumbai. Well, I'm thinking about it. We will tag along wherever the road takes us. Anyway, you're here for your dreamer. What? I fixed it. You had your dream machine delivered to me. Because it was broken about a month ago. Does any of this ring a bell? Your friend, that German suit, said you'd come by to pick it up. He looked like a Jaeger. I thought he was here to blow my brains out. But he was very personable. A Jaeger. What was wrong with it? An early batch. Bad soldering. I fixed several like it in the past. FYI, it's an off-the-shelf model that pings Wattie servers with a device ID. Connect. That won't be a problem unless they've put an alert out on you or that particular device. But I went ahead and blocked it anyway. Still, it is a licensed product. There may be other security measures. I cannot be 100% sure that it won't alert Wattie. There hmm. are unlicensed streamers out there without any security chips. But Mr. London has that market locked up here in proper. German guy. Given the trigger happy toy soldiers out there, I wouldn't know how to get hold of one. I'll be fine with this one. As long as you know the risks. If you weren't here for that, then why the house call? What about oh, the box? Uh, fuel cell. The power went out and I don't have a working backup. That's not very smart, Kutia. Lucky for you, I'm up to my neck in fuel cells. Ah. Anything particular yes, you're in the market but for? but I won't be streaming next the week. Cheapest you have. Or I might be streaming next week. Grab I'm one not sure from that streaming box next week. over there. They're but anyway, series, once the time gets sorted. But they'll keep sorted, your apartment yeah. going for a few weeks at least. Bring it back before it goes dead. Well, my parents are here and then it's Easter, so... <laughs> you know. It's a case of I might be streaming, I might not. It depends how it goes. So yeah. how much do I owe you? Consider it your severance package. Ah, if we're you. ever back in business, there will be a job for you. You're not too bad, Kutia. Despite appearances. Uh, thanks, I guess. I'm really loving her new haircut. Aside from the fact that apart from the shaved underbit, which I'm guessing is because of the um, uh, burns, um, it's kind of like my needs to be at the moment it's like twice as long as it should be it's driving me crazy i really like her hoodie as well it's got little ears oh that's so cute she looks Wait, really epic now Ooh. what happened to that data i decrypted for you who did you end up giving it to i gave it to the hand but before they could publish it they were shut down where's the data now with reza in iceland iceland the final refuge of rogue journalists you didn't keep a copy? I just Stupid, I know. You may have just saved your ass. Too bad about the story, though. When is your Jorbo coming back? I really don't know. When they feel it's safe, I guess. That story it does depend on the amount of chocolate. Whatever it takes, make it happen. I will try my best, I guess. Okay. Oh, I drank too much tea. I'll be back in a minute.
I am back. Oh. It was a interesting day, so I didn't drink as much as I should, so I drank a lot when I came home. Which of course, you know, catching up with me. Also, I need to like blow my nose viciously because I have a cold and I don't want to do that <laughs> on stream. But it's all good. So, oh, chill. I should probably do another half an hour or so. See where the end of the chapter is. You have expended your daily time out. I will now accompany you back to your registered domicile. Don't bother. I know the way. Every step you take, I'll be watching you, as mandated by martial law. How about every breath I... Every oh. breath... <laughs> yeah. Um, right. Yeah, so we'll see end of the chapter or, you know, sort of like... 40 minutes-ish, see how it goes. Miss Castillo? Ooh, hello! Queenie's requesting your immediate audience. Sure, but... Uh, what about my... Uh, my escort? You have arrived at your approved location. Have a nice day. <laughs> you can come on board now. Impressive. We do our best. I'm glad you're back on your feet, Zoe. I was hoping to see you again before I left. You're leaving? I heard the hand was shut down. You had I still want her teacup. There. Good friends. The hand was going to publish an article about Watercorp conspiring with both Unity and European Dawn when the syndicate shut them down. But they still have the evidence. My ex-boyfriend Reza brought it to Iceland. The data's safe there, but the hand hasn't been able to publish it. There's still a chance to make things right, then. This is why I wanted to speak with you. Mm. You knew the woman who set off the bomb. Nena, yes. You were there. I tried to stop her, but it was too late. I don't believe she planned to kill anyone. She wasn't... Nela was a good person. She cared about people. She gave me something to keep safe. But I lost it in the explosion. Maybe it could have explained why. Our lives are shaped by events beyond our control. The choices we make can point us down one road or the other. But where that road ultimately leads... So, we're talking destiny? Friend's death was not of her own making. The device she used was bad. Ah. It was meant to disrupt the eye, not to kill anyone. An EMP. How do you know this? Nayla needed someone to help yeah. her assemble the device. Hannah came to me after the bombing. She was distraught. Of course, she had uh. no idea what they were doing. But she is the link. She may be able to connect the bomb to the Syndicate. The Syndicate is behind the attack on their own people. Of Everyone course. Everyone is expendable. It all leads back to what he called Zoe. They are consolidating their power and ridding themselves of loose threads. And of course, I'm no one's going to vote for them. Affected, rotting from the inside. You need to leave too. But first, there's something you must do. Your memories, they're coming back. I know what I need to do. The dream machine. Be very careful. Powerful forces are converging here. I've been around a long time. You learn to read the signs. You're fading, Zoe. Fading? Like a page that's been left out in the sun too long. Mm. Do what needs to be done. Do not hesitate any longer. I've given you time to regain your resolve, but we're almost out of it now. Oh. If we both make it through the storm ahead, I'll find you again. I hope so. I will. Now go home and do what needs to be done. Wake up. You can come out now. 
Diana. How long have you known I was here? Do not mistake me for an old woman, Hana. You told her about. There's no more time for secrets. Watikorp must be brought down. What you know will make a difference. But I don't have any actual proof they were involved. I only made deliveries. You know enough. Find the evidence. Work together with Zoe. How do you know we can trust her? She's like you. Someone who shapes dreams. I know. I mean, I guess when we met. But how is that even possible? I thought I was the only one. Why do you think you were drawn together? Coincidence is a powerful force. Zoe needs your help. A terrible shadow has fallen over her. How do you know this? I don't. I'm not a fortune teller, and the future is never crystal clear. It branches and divides, indefinitely and infinitely, but there are patterns and signs. I really like how she's cool. If you know where to look. You have to leave. They know I'm here now. Watikorp has been looking for me a long time. I'm a... a loose thread. I promise I'll find you again. Okay, Hannah. she has a floating chair and Your a floating teacup. just begun. There are wonderful things in store for you. But for now, I your job like is to help Zoe finish her journey. Without that, without her, there will be no more stories. Afterwards, if the universe is still here, we can talk about the next chapter. She's epic. Absolutely epic. I wonder if Hannah has anything to do with a little kid. I don't know. I'm very intrigued by this game now. I may stream Saturday night because Oh, I'm back in my apartment. Hello, fuel. Um I may stream Saturday night because this my is My cooking uh, has improved. I now serve great scrambled eggs and my bacon is legendary. Let's see. A boxed meal for every day of the week, courtesy of the corporations. Because this is Life getting very intriguing. And I have a feeling that we're probably going to end up ending on cliffhanger and all that. What else is there to do except watch the screen? Right. The dream machine. Watercorp has won our undivided attention. It's mad out there. Martial law, full curfew, eyes everywhere, queues for rations. It's like a war zone. The syndicate versus... Us. For the life of me, I can't remember asking Mira to fix this. Am I losing my mind? I mean, German I guy. was in the hospital for severe trauma, and that's after spending a year in a coma. German guy. Is there anything more in here? Ha! <laughs> okay, no, that's reading. Alright, let's go for it. I never knew my mother, but I've been told that in many ways she's the opposite of my father. Gabrielle never makes hasty choices. Gabrielle ponders, and when his mind's made up, he'll stick with his decision until the end. My mother's impulsive, mercurial. If the wind changes, she'll let herself be swept away with it, as long as it's to her benefit. She put me in a coma. Sorry. I'm not a big fan. But maybe it's time I accept some risks. Wake After up, all, Zoe. I keep telling everyone I want to remember. I need to enter dream time. I need to revisit the past. Are you still there, Paul? It's the only How way to save the future. This can only end poorly.
Someone needs to say something else because all I can see is Olkesh saying chocolate and I really want chocolate. Oh, bleep bloop. 15G total recall. You have finally embraced your memories. And we're on the floaty platform thing. You returned, but you were still not here. You must be here. Is this a dream? I thought I'd actually travel across this time. You Raspberry. were here, but never truly. Not yet. But you must come to... Ah! What the heck was that? Oh, hey guys, what's up? <laughs> crow? You're Crow. You're Crow. I remember you. You do? I am. Wait. I remember you too. Oh, I don't. Of course you do. It's me. Zoe. Don't say anything. I've got this. Lorelei, baby cakes, schnoodle bum. Who? I'm Agneta. I'm sorry. Uh, how have you been? And now I want raspberry cookies. That's not. Look, Aggie, I apologize for taking off without a word of warning. I didn't have a choice. I was hey, scruff. I'm not Agneta. I'm Auntie May. No, Zoe. Where? Oh, oh, Zoe. Yes, yes, yes. The girl who was dreaming. So we have no idea who the crow is because you we haven't played the game before. Different. Are you sure you're you? No. Pretty sure. I don't know. You look a lot better than you used to, and your voice, it's sultry. You sound like a cinnamon bird. I don't even know what that means. I was in a coma for a while. Maybe that's... <sighs> what are you doing here, crow? <laughs> I think really here? the crow is Let hitting on her arkash. Yep, all here, not a feather missing. So, where is here exactly? Whoa, Nelly, I didn't expect that. Uh, you, uh, you're memorable. Wait, Auntie May? No, no. That's okay, Scruff. I was Abnaxus of the Venar. That's right, I remember you now. You were really annoying to talk to. Took ages to get anywhere. <laughs> How have you been? I will not complain. Oh, I don't get it. This is just like that dream I've been having. You're playing Jura's Except and you, Crow, cool. you're new. And improved. It's that preening routine I'm following. I'm telling you, it's a game changer. I don't think I've had, it. So had any issues. The connection was weak. Compromised. You were only half dreaming. Only half there. You will need to be all there. And soon. Or it was too late. But you had brought the bird over. The bird will be the key. If you can just. Oh, I'm glad the stream's been okay. Yeah, not too much with the issues. <gasps> Uh oh, German guy. The hallway is <coughs> is clear. You must leave now. They are coming. What can I do to schnell, Fräulein? That's the German guy. Wow. Zoe! Over here, quickly! This way. Where are we going? We need to get off the streets. Did <laughs> Queenie send you? She said that you needed help. Why did you tell Queenie I wasn't doing so well? You weren't. That's not the point. I said I was fine. It wasn't up for interpretation. Well, Sometimes tough. it's better to just let people know rather than keep pretending. The eyes will be here soon. We need to go underground. How's that going to help? We can't just hole up in one of those chambers forever. <laughs> trust me. Okay. Well, I don't really have a choice, but I trust you more than I trust the random German guy that I'm fairly certain was spying on me with a therapist. That's a convoluted story conversation. What 
is this place? The world beneath? A network of tunnels covering all of Propast and beyond. I don't know how far it goes. This is amazing. Is this how you guys get around? For the most part. Some of the nests are only accessible from above ground, but you can get pretty much anywhere from here. Come cool. on. Wait, where are we going? You spoke with Queenie. You know I helped Nella with that device. The one that killed all those people. You didn't know, and neither did Nella. You're right. But someone did. Someone does, and we're going to put it right. Mr. London has a warehouse down here. It's where I pick up and make deliveries. It was just a job, but that's where we're going. To find evidence to connect Wattie Corp to the bombing. Oh, this okay. warehouse, is that where London keeps his unlicensed dream machines? He keeps everything in there. Why? I need one. For after we clear Nella's name. Long story. Tell me later. We need to go. It's only a matter of time before the eyes start digging deeper. Okay, mm so we can't go that way anyway. Find Mr. London's warehouse. I think that's probably going to be easy to find because she knows. Oh, I came as fast as I could. Are you okay? Perfectly. You know Zoe. Hey Zoe, this is yours. You dropped it. <gasps> Boom. I was following you. I didn't know who you were working for back then. I saw what happened. The man who pulled you away, he didn't notice you dropping that. I thought the eye took it. I've been wanting to return it. Yes. What is it? I don't know. Maybe nothing. Let's get a move on before the eyes figure out where we are. No, I'm totally examining the box. Why would this be so important to Nella? It makes no sense. It's a pin. So what tell a pin? It matches your Why thing. Why would this be so important to Nella? Well, it matches your hoodie. It's like that purple Fuck. bar thing. We lost power to the gates. They must know you're down here. We'll have to use the manual overrides. It requires two people, some sort of security measure. I'll show you how it works. Go ahead, Abby. Okay, Zoe, you can pass through now. After this is over, can we please leave Propast and go somewhere that has an actual sun and no battle suits? I Sounds promise. like a good plan. You're not coming with us. I'm going to make sure you have time to do what you need to do. She'll take care of the eyes. Is that safe? Don't worry about me. I've done this before. Plenty of times. See you soon, babe. Be careful. Always am. Hannah, I... Stop. Love you. Me too. I'm happy to see you guys are okay. What you said to Abby... It made a difference. She stopped using the dream machine. And after you found me, I realized I couldn't just keep hiding. I yeah. promised Abby we'd get out of Europolis. I'm thinking Mumbai. Why Mumbai? Don't laugh, but I had a dream about it. About those dreams? Visions. They are more like visions, right? Or like peeking through a curtain across a, a, a divide. There's another world there. I've seen it. Have you been there? I have. And you dream yourself across. I can, but only by connecting to a dream machine. I thought I was the only one. Me too. What does that mean? I don't know. But we'll find out. Together. Okay, so you know the drill. Once the gate opens, you need to go through and hold the lever down. Push it down. All right, I'm coming through. Don't let go or I'll be sliced ham. So what happened? Nailer, the device? The detonator was supposed to trigger an electromagnetic burst. You know, to disrupt communications and mess with the eye battle suits. But the EMP generator got switched out with the antimatter chamber. Jesus. 
Lucky for you, it had limited range. They weren't trying to wipe Caprova off the map. I guess they just wanted to make a point. You should go with Mira. Frame manifest. Let's do this. Same as last time. Do you hear that beeping? What is that? I don't... Yeah, it's coming from you. You're beeping. It's beeping. What is this? Some sort of holographic storage? I don't know, but it's reacting to something down here. Let's track it down. Come on, follow me. She saved me. I guess Queenie told her to, but Hannah risked everything to help me out, so I owe her my life. Frame manifesto. Remove another party from the election. And shut down the city. Full curfew, everyone stays at home, hooked up to their dream machines. What he wins. So where did the antimatter come from? London's a stickler for detail. He'd always make sure everything that moved in and out of his warehouse scanned and catalogued. Paranoia, maybe? Covering his ass. Anyway, when I picked up that final piece, the one that was supposed to be an EMP generator, I noticed it had a what he caught reference code in their system. I didn't think much about it. I mean, they make everything else, so why not? If we can find one of those antimatter chambers, along with the tracking information... We may be able to connect Watticourt with the device. We can prove they were behind the attack. And the whole house of cards comes tumbling down. Or maybe we get killed. I'd say our odds are 50-50. Okay, I'm not quite sure... Is there more volume? Can you hear like... Hot or cold beeping type thing? I thought it was a directional arrow, okay. I think this is it. Uh -huh. Um, what is this? It's a, a singularity, I think. One of the original wire access points from before the collapse. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it must have fallen off the grid. Let me check if it's it's active. So the syndicate has no idea this exists. But I can't establish a connection to my iris or protocols, probably. It has a holographic port. It might be able to read physical data, and it's blinking at the same rate Nella's package is beeping. It's yes! like it wants to connect. I guess we should do what it asks. Yes! Nella Vilcek, owner of Nella Bites. I'm leaving this message. Manifesto party leadership has not authorized this operation. Marta Rivas has no knowledge of what's about to happen. I am acting of my own free will as part of a manifesto splinter group. We're tired of... <sighs> Marta Rivas believes in politics. She's an idealist. I wish more people were like her, but the truth is... Democracy is dead. 
The corporates won. The elections are a facade. It's all a big, fat, festering lie. A show put on by our syndicate puppet masters to appease the proletariat. Whoever wins this autumn, it won't change a goddamn thing. They have made sure of that. They own them all. Everyone's corrupted. Everyone. We can't let this go on. We need to shake things up, start fresh. This is why... This is why I'm taking action today. I have been asked to detonate a non-lethal EMP charge in front of the I headquarters on Kaprova. This custom-built charge was designed to disable I communications, sabotage their operations, and immobilize their battlesuits. It's a... a... message. A loud, bold message, but... <sighs> it's just another lie. The non-lethal EMP charge has been replaced with a very Whoa, she knew. device. The detonation will kill me, along with anyone else caught in the blast. There will be casualties. Military and, and civilian. They'll accuse Ribas of harboring radicals and inciting violence. Manifesto will be destroyed. They don't know that I know. If they did, I'd be dead. I need to go through with this, because if I don't, nothing changes. If I go to the authorities or the press, they'll sweep it all under the rug and make me disappear. They're good at that. If I carry out their plans, however, everyone pays attention. They'll have no choice. And then afterwards, expose the cunts, the ones pulling the strings, the ones who built the fucking bomb. What a corp. I'll be a terrorist and a murderer, but so will they, and they have a lot more to lose. Lucky for me, they've been arrogant and sloppy, that's how I found out, and they've left evidence for someone to... Left evidence. N-I-N-G. Penning. The chamber was swapped out before I could... And track this part back to Watikorp. Decrypt this message with a dead drop signal embedded in the local hardwire, which will be triggered the moment my iris goes dark. I'll have to trust that the right people will follow the right signals down into the underground. I'm... I'm truly sorry that people are going to get hurt, killed. I wish there was some other way. I just don't know what I can... Jesus. I can't believe Nella did what she did. The people she hurt, killed. I can't tell Hannah the truth. She'll just blame herself. We have to get Watty for this, or those people will have died in vain. Most of it was garbled, but Watty's involved. Nella confirmed it. And there was one word, or maybe a name, Penning. A code name of some sort. I don't know, there's no wire access, so we can't look it up. Maybe Mira can restore the rest of the recording. If anyone can, it will be her. If it helps establish a connection between Manifesto and Watty Corp, mm. she can help us connect the dots. And it's a safe place for me to dream. Let's head to the warehouse. I don't know how long Abby will be able to hold off the troops. Will she be okay? She's resourceful. And smart. <clears throat> I'm, I'm not going to accidentally you know, chop her in half with that thing. So yes, three weeks. Oh, it's after Easter. Honestly, at this point, I've just been so busy that after Easter is my not so busy time. So, yeah, I'm hyped. I've about this other world until just recently. Through GX, but it's more of a. So I'll be glad that April has not much stuff to do in it. <laughs> in this world and the other, that threatens the dream. The dream. It's what keeps reality 
real? Without the dream, things stop existing. It's like a blueprint for everything. That makes as much sense as anything else, I guess. And you need to fix it. I have to. Watercorp and the dream machine play a part on this side of the divide. I need to find out what's going on on the other side. Is there anything I can do here? If there is, I'll let you know. For now, I need a dream machine that can't be tracked or shut down remotely. The other side of the divide is Alvani and the pipe thing. Um, yeah, it is going to be three tied. What tied is this place? In a convention center. I don't know. Three hours. <laughs> I imagine at some point we're going to go sod this. Let's go get hot chocolate. <laughs> Not vents? Uh, something Queenie said. There's something odd about all of this. I feel weird, like my bones are vibrating. Well, you can have okay, coffee, I don't drink coffee, but yes. Why is my skin the principle is the same. Jesus. I am faded. London's warehouse is the next door over. She saved me. I guess Queenie told her to, but... Hannah risked everything to help me out, so I owe her my life. This is it. Hold on, I'll open the door. Just follow my lead and I'll... Uh-oh. Fuck! Eyes! Go ahead, I'll distract them. The hell you will! You wouldn't last a minute. <laughs> I'll take care of the stormtroopers. You get the antimatter device and your dream machine. But I don't. We're wasting time. You need to do this. Look for a blue box with the letters D E W on it. Do you? That's all I remember. Grab an antimatter chamber, scan it, download the tracking information from their systems, and get the hell out of Dodge. But don't open this door from your side. Wait for me. When it's all clear on this side, I'll open it again. Okay? I'm not. Yeah. Okay. Blue box due. Good luck. Never needed it. See you soon. I like Hannah. She's awesome. Okay, saving. <sighs> I think, although it's not really the end of a chapter, that this would be a good point to leave it for today. I have a feeling that if once I get the thing there'll be more things and then there'll be the dream thing and it'll just be like I'll be playing forever and I need to sleep. So what I will do is I will say, ha, yeah exactly seven hours later, oh shit I have to leave for work. Um, I will say that I will stream at the weekend. Probably Saturday evening. I will stream Saturday evening. Yeah, I've just got to fit it in between sort of podcast editing and um, podcast recording and getting my house, uh, yeah, flat ready to paint. But this is story is really intriguing and I really, really, really do want to play more, but I, I need to sleep. So, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, it's been awesome. I've been Joe, otherwise known as Angel SK, and I bid you good night. I'll see you Saturday.